Did you know the bacterium living inside your body outnumber your own cells? 10 to 1. You are so gross! Uh, but what if you could actually control what the bacterium are doing? What if you could have them recolonize to do good for your body? Uh, that is what some scientists are doing with so-called designer microbes. They've been starting this already on mice, not humans, and it has not made the transition over. Uh, with a very specific gut bacteria, that is very abundant. And you know what? They stay inside your body. They don't get wiped out. What mm. if you could control them is the basis of this. I'm going to try to pronounce this now. I'm not. <laughs> Bacterioides um, thetio tau micron. I did it better before the camera was on, so I'm just going to pretend that that's the way to pronounce that, because as it's been established before, I'm the queen of pronunciation, even though I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I, I'm sort of a two minds about this, because um, there is that weird Frankenstein movie part of me that's sort of like, this is freaky. This is freaky mm -hmm. that you're doing stuff inside the body. At the same time, the things, some of the things that these designer... Uh, microbes can do are detect bleeding, um, inflammation. Inflammation. So if you're having an ulcer, I, mean, I could tell you just, just stress. But but I mean, if you if you're able to detect this stuff, you can treat it much earlier than you would be able to normally. Mm -hmm. So as weird as it is to think about doing, it's and, weird to think about biological medicine in this yeah. way, or pre medicine, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. But I think um, I think the things that freak me out about this are. Um, what could potentially be done with changing stuff inside your body. Mm -hmm. And I mean, once you learn how to do it, like once the cat's out, it's sort of like AI. Like once it starts to happen, it's gonna happen. I can see some people feeling very uh, wary yeah. and scared of this. I mean, if you, all you need to say is genetically modified organism and some people mm -hmm. might lose their shit. Exactly. Uh, but gut bacteria is, it's, something, it's very important. It's, it's something that, you know, we, we control this in different ways as well uh, in so-called uh, poop transplants as well. That's um, a thing that she just said. It's a poop thing. Transplants. It's a thing and I, I'm not making it a joke. It has saved lives before. It has, but it's... But it, it's yeah, I know. It's feces. It's feces. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a vital function of yeah. the human body. And uh, what this would be is they had built four sensors that can be encoded in the bacterium's DNA that respond to a signal to switch genes on and off inside the specific gut bacteria. Um, and then they would be able to, uh, you know, first of all, it's stable in the gut. Mm -hmm. It won't be wiped out uh, immediately. They interact with st cells and other microbial inhabitants and have a long shelf life of activity. Uh, like you said, if you were to have infl inflammation or swelling or bleeding in your stomach, there would be some kind of response that could help you. Yeah, and, and it's, I mean, to do this so far, like obviously they haven't transferred it from mice, but one of the things that they'd have to do is wipe everything out with antibiotics first, mm -hmm. which is, that, that part scares me, because antibiotics, well, I'm sure I, I, I will get letters from medical people about this, but, um, but I guess the, the idea of changing things within the body is really freaky, but at the same time you have things like 3D printing organs that might seem weird, or 3D printing limbs, but the things that you can do with them are really cool. So I think I could get over my initial, like, this feels like Frankenstein thing because it could save lives. Mm -hmm. um, you can 3D print an Iron Man arm for a kid who's lost his arm. That's pretty amazing. So the though it's weird and though it, it feels a little off, I mean, I guess the idea of flight would feel like that too because every once in a while when I'm in a plane, I'm like, humans should not be in the air. This feels odd. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, progress is progress, and people are going to think it's think it's off, but... Um, I don't know. Well, the, this bacterium would also be able to potentially respond to your diet. So mm -hmm. if you're eating a lot of sugars, that would signal something um, in the, the bacteria's uh, encoding. And there's, there's, a, there's a wide variety of potential uses we could get out of this uh, in terms of human health yeah. uh, that we can't really control so much by eating or taking uh, certain injections as well. Uh, so I think there's a huge amount of potential from this. I don't yeah. think it's something we should be scared off off the bat. But however, you should always, you should always question things. Yeah. You should always read more. And we don't have that information just yet. It's not at the human stages again. Uh, but audience, would you want to have so-called designer microbes in your gut? Would you like to have that bacteria that you could actually control and, and bend to your, your will, hopefully? Bend to your will, I like bend that. Bend to your will, <laughs> stomach. No, not so much. But it seems like another level of control and it might be able to help with health. At the same time, there may be some uh, negative effects. That is definitely possible. Let us know below what you think and please be sure to subscribe for more.